Oh, hi there. It's Jeff, the SP Spaz, and um, I'm uh, back for a quick but scintillating video um, because I wanted to answer a question uh, that I've been asked quite a bit, um, and I felt like I had left you hanging long enough without answering it that I would make this brief video before I left my office. Um, people have said to me, uh, Jeff, what's the like ultimate way to tell between ESFP and ESTP. Like you have somebody and you're just you're certain you know that they're one of those two types but you just need that one last thing to kind of push you one direction or the other because you know they maybe the whole FT thing seems kind of balanced they don't they're not like you know super over-the-top emo like me for instance and they're not like super you know logical or you know like I don't know Indiana Jones um <clears throat> So, okay, here's the basic deal. Um, in, in general, with STPs and SFPs, um, SFPs are more, like, people-focused most of the time. Um, we like people. Um, even the introverts still like people. They may not want to spend quite as much time around them, but they want to do things to help people or to uh, show things to people or make things for them. A STPs tend to be more concerned with um, inanimate objects, so... Uh, tools and weapons and you know fishing tackle or whatever the whatever the particular person is into and it's not that STPs necessarily can't stand people some of them have plenty of time spent with people and have a great time it's just um, they're not quite as people focused that's sort of like the secondary concern okay so you may be saying at this point all right you know well how would you tell you know, really which one is more important to them um, well, along with that, you know, focus kind of, it's, it's kind of trust as well, like, and respect almost. There's a respect that SFPs give to people that STPs don't necessarily grant. And same thing with STPs, they sort of have more respect for, like, you know, inanimate objects or, or tools or things that were made than they do actual people. So one way to test this is, okay, you've got a friend or somebody that, you know, you're trying to figure out, you know, are they... ESFP or ESTP. I'm taking them to a grocery store, like a, you know, a supermarket or something, or Walmart or one of those places. And um, you know, as you're as you're rounding, you know, turning the corner around an aisle, um, just you know, make sure that your friend um, runs into somebody else's shopping cart, like pretty hard, um, and you know, to the point that they hurt their foot or something like that. You know, it makes it makes an impact on them. Um, the ESFP will respond to that situation by apologizing to the person who's pushing the sh other shopping cart for running into them and then proceed to kick the shopping cart over and over again. The ESTP that this happens to will apologize to the shopping cart for running into it and then proceed to beat the crap out of the person pushing the shopping cart. So there you go. A quick and easy way to tell the difference in a practical, you know, real world scenario between an ESTP and an ESFP. Join us next time for more fantastically answered questions by me, Jeff, the SP Spaz, and uh, more videos on the way soon. Thanks for watching.